For the last week, I signed up for every possible sports betting website and app that I could to max out all the crazy sign-up bonuses and promotions that they currently have. I deposited over $3,000 of my own money to max out all these promotions. And this video is the story of how much money either I made with these sign-up bonuses or lost in the last week of sports betting apps. So let's get started. It seems like every time I watch a sporting event, whether it's football, basketball, or baseball, I always see a handful of ads for signing up for sports betting apps and websites. They always claim that you can get free bets up to $250, $500, even $1,000 in free bets. And at the end of these ads, they always claim that they're 100% risk-free. So since I'm always looking for ways to make money, I had an idea. Why not sign up for all these different sports betting apps and then maximize all the different promotions they have and see how much of this free money and free bets that I could actually make in the next week and see if these bets are actually 100% risk-free. And that's exactly what I did for the last week. I deposited $3,050 to maximize all the different sign-up bonuses that I could in my area. I live here in Illinois and at the moment there's five different sports betting apps that I could personally use. So depending on what state you live in, there might be even more than that, while other states it's still illegal to sports bet, so you're not going to have any apps that you could use to do so. Before we get started with this video, I do have to say that this video is for entertainment purposes only, and I'm not encouraging anyone to gamble with their money. Now that we have the disclaimer out of the way, let's talk about this crazy week I had with all the different sign-up bonuses and promotions with all these sports betting apps. Day 1. So unfortunately, I was already signed up for DraftKings, which is one of the bigger companies and apps out there for sports betting. So sadly, I did not get the sign up bonus for that, but DraftKings does have promotions happening all the time. So you'll see throughout the videos and the screenshots that if it has a multiplier on my winnings or it might just give me free bets or whatever, it's for the different promotions from DraftKings and the other sports betting apps that I use throughout this video. And that's on top of the crazy sign up bonuses that they already give you. On day one, I did end up signing up for Bet Rivers, and I had to deposit $250 in order to get $500 in free bets and these free bets were in $25 increments. After day one, we had $88 in profits from DraftKings. We also had $46.25 in profits that we won from two of the free bets from Bet Rivers, bringing our grand total for day one to a total of $134.25 of profit. And we're also gonna keep a running total throughout this video so you can see each day how much I profited or lost, and then also the running total. Day two. I signed up for points bet and I had to deposit $1,500 in order to get a $500 free money line bet and also another free bet of $1,000 on their points betting system, which I'll explain later on. So the total winnings for day two was $52 in profits with $15 in free bets, bringing our running total to $186 in profits with $15 in free bets. Day three. At this point, I figured I just couldn't bet on teams that I liked or that I thought was gonna win in my head because this really wasn't a system and I knew in the long term I was leaving money on the table with all these free bets that I was getting. So after doing a little bit of research, I found this website called Oddshark and what they do is they have this predicting software which they predict who's gonna win the games and they'll give you the scores that they predict. So what I was doing is I was looking at the different spreads on these betting apps. So for example, the Oddshark website has the spread on the game. So you can tell here the favorite is the Houston Rockets for this example and they have a spread of negative 5.5 points. So even if Sacramento Kings were to lose this game, say by two points and you took the spread, you would still actually win the bet. So what I was doing is I was looking at the Odd Shark website and it was predicting that the Kings would win 119 to 107. So what I was doing was looking at the spread and who was gonna win predicted from the Odd Shark website and then comparing that into the different spread on the different sports betting apps out there. And if there was a big variance, I would take that bet. And this is the different strategy that I had going forward for the rest of this video. So day three results were $168 of profit on DraftKings, about $46 of profit on Bet Rivers. Then we had our massive bets with points bet for our huge signup bonus. So we did the $500 money line on Michigan and yes, they won. And then also we had that points betting system. So how it works is a little bit tricky. So say the spread, if you think, for example, the Michigan has a spread of minus two, and then the points betting system works is it's a multiplier. So you might have to bet $10, and but if they lose, say, by 15 or 20, there's a multiplier how much you're gonna lose or win. So if they have a negative two spread, but say if they win by 20, it's a huge blowout. If you bet 100 bucks, you could possibly win, you know, $2,000, 3000 but on the flip side, you could easily lose that money if there's a big loss and it's a big difference from the spread. 
So luckily I did a bet and I won huge and you can see the results right here. So for the day, I won $1,435 with $11 in free bets from PointsBet. That brings our grand total for day three at $1,648 of profits with $11 in free bets. And our running total so far is $1,834 with $11 in free bets. Day four, I signed up for another sports betting app and this one is called William Hill. I had to deposit $300 in order to get a $300 bet for free. Our totals for day four were $9 in losses for DraftKings. We did win one of our free bets from Bet Rivers, so it was about $19 a profit right there. For points bet, I didn't bet any, but I still had that $11 free bet. And for William Hill, we actually lost our $300 bet. So unfortunately, we were out our bonus right there. And that means for day four, we ended up losing $288, but we still had $11 in free bets. And hopefully, we still get that $300 credits from William Hill. That brings our running total to a profit of $1,544 with $11 in free bets. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that we still get that William Hill $300 credit. Day 5. I signed up for FanDuel and I had to deposit $1,000 in order to get a $1,000 free bet. And just to note, there's two different apps for FanDuel. There's a sports betting app and there's also a fantasy one. So unfortunately, I did sign up for the fantasy one for the first time around and I deposited $1,000 thinking that it was a sports betting app and that they were the same thing. But unfortunately, I was wrong. I did have to reach out to customer support, but luckily they did give me my $1,000 without any hassle. And then I just deposited that into the correct FanDuel sports betting app. Day 5 winning and losses resulted in a $50 loss from DraftKings. And then Bet Rivers, we ended up winning two of the free bets, so we profited $46. From Points Bet and William Hill, we didn't place any new bets. But for FanDuel, we ended up losing our $1,000 sign up bonus. This looks like a clear winner from Odd Shark's website. The odds were clearly in the team's favor. And they also had the point spread. And guys, this was the most frustrating game to watch. Of course, the one game I bet on, this team was down by the most amount of points in decades at halftime. And it was so frustrating. The other team was red hot. They had the most amount of threes that they hit in a single game within decades. And it was so frustrating, especially since I had $1,000 on the line. But anyways, for day five, our total uh, ended up being $104 in losses. But we still had $11 in free bets bringing in our running total to a profit of $540 with $11 in free bets. So unfortunately, there wasn't any more apps that I could sign up here in Illinois, but there's still a good amount of promotions for all these different apps for different free bets, uh, more winnings, or just better odds in your favor. So for day six, our winnings and losses resulted in $184 of profit from DraftKings. We ended up losing $27 in Bet Rivers. In points bet, we actually profited $28. William Hill, no bets. FanDuel, no bets. So that brings our day six total to $186 of profit. And that means our running total is $726 with $1,000 in credits from FanDuel. And then hopefully we get the $300 credits from William Hill. And I do have to say that the FanDuel did credit my $1,000 right away and it was super easy. But it was kind of odd that William Hill still at this point still didn't give me my $300 credit back. Especially that I placed my bet a day later with FanDuel and I already got the credit back in my account. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I still get that $300 credit from William Hill. So the last and final day, day 7 of opening up all these crazy promo codes for all the sports betting apps out there. And unfortunately, I didn't see any good spreads in my favor for Odd Shark. So I didn't place any bets on this day. And actually, I was still pretty concerned that I wasn't even going to get my $300 back from William Hill. So that means we just have to push back this challenge one extra day. So day eight, this is for sure the last and final day of the challenge. Bet Rivers, we profited $69. And then points bet, I didn't place any bets. So zero with that. Then luckily, I did get my credit back with William Hill. I was showing my account that I did get the $300 back. So I was pretty relieved that I got that into my account. So I still had $1,000 in credits on FanDuel and also $300 with the William Hill app. And at first, I was just trying to see if I could just cash out right away. But it wouldn't actually let me withdraw the money, even though I had these credits for free bets. So I figured, why not actually put it on a money line game with a clear favorite? And it's going to be a really low risk game and I could just get my money back. So that was my initial idea. But I originally put a dollar bet on a money line game. And then I noticed I could actually cash out that bet right away. 
And then once I did that, the one dollar was able to be withdrew. And I thought this was definitely a little side hack. So I did the remaining $999. I put it on a money line bet and then I actually canceled that bet to get my money back. So I had $1,000 actually available to withdraw from that account and that's exactly what I did. I withdrew the money and luckily within a couple of days it actually showed up in my checking account. And I did the exact same thing with William Hill. And in the time guys, let me tell you, I was actually pretty nervous because I thought that these apps with FanDuel was gonna flag it in the system saying that you can't do it and you have to bet it. And originally I thought they were gonna make me bet it, but this is definitely a little side step to go around to actually make these 100% risk free. So in total for the last day, we profited $94, but then we also got back $1,300 in credits from FanDuel and also with William Hill. And that brings us to our grand total for the last week of signing up for these insane promotions and sign up bonuses for all these different sports betting apps and websites at a grand total of $2,119 of pure profit. So with me profiting over $2,000 and also we actually verify that these are 100% risk-free bets in this video, you would think that I would probably just recommend the strategy of signing up for all these sports betting apps for the promotion and sign-up bonuses for everyone. And I would say I actually don't believe that's true. I personally believe if you have good self-control, then this could be a good strategy to make a couple free bucks that's 100% risk-free. But if you don't, this could seriously lead into a really bad habit of sports betting. I personally know some friends and family that who have been down thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars over the long term with sports betting. It could really be a bad habit. Especially if you're gonna be doing this long term, I don't really think you're gonna beat the casino or the house. The house always wins. In long term, the odds are always gonna be in their favor. But if you're just gonna sign up for the sign up bonuses and just do a couple of free bets, I would actually kind of recommend this. This could be a good way to make a couple hundred bucks that are 100% risk free. If you're interested in signing up for any of these sports betting apps, make sure to use the referral link down below. I will promise to always have the best promotion codes for you guys. So this is gonna be the most amount of free money and free bets. So use the links down below in the description box and also pinned in the comments. And I'll also be updating these continuously throughout to make sure that you guys have the best promo codes. Also with you using my links, it's not gonna affect on how much of a sign-up bonus or a promotion you're gonna get. Like I said, you will always get the best and highest sign-up bonus and free bets with free money. If I get enough people to sign up under my promo links, I will make a follow-up video to this. It'll be a second video and we can do some insane parlay bets for a couple hundred dollars and potentially win ten to twenty thousand dollars. I think that would be a really interesting video to create for you guys. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please do smash that thumbs up button and share it with a friend. If you're interested in other side hustles and other ways to make money check out my channel because that's what it's all about. Well this is Kevin your financial tutor signing off. Peace.